So my name is Ken Dryley. I'm here um, with my book, my newest book. Uh, actually, it's my first book from the Images of Modern America series. Um, it's about the National Training Center in Fort Irwin, California. Basically, really starts off in the 1940s and then goes forward to modern times. So it kind of worked out perfectly for Fort Irwin um, because Fort Irwin became the Mojave Anti-Aircraft Range in 1940 when President Roosevelt signed the order because the Army needed enough space that they could fire anti-aircraft weapons in a 360 degree environment. So they could fire any direction at any time and not have to worry about the cities and towns outside. Um, in the case of Fort Irwin, originally it was, like I said, the Mojave Anti-Aircraft Range, which was a sub-base to the um, Camp Hahn down in Riverside, where Riverside National Cemetery is now, was the big base. And this was just a range for that. Up until we created the National Training Center in 1980, and that's what we do now. We train brigade combat teams to engage and defeat the enemies of the United States in close combat. That's what we do out there. A lot of people don't know the base is there. Um, it's actually the size of the state of Rhode Island. Uh, we go from, we share our eastern border with um, China Lake Naval Weapon Station in Ridgecrest. Our western border is just shy of Baker, California, home of the world's largest thermometer. On our southern border, we're about 30 miles from Barstow and our northern border we share a fence line with Death Valley National Park. Huge, gigantic installation, um, lots of history going back from the mining days, even before that. Um, Father Francisco Garces, the first European to come through this area, came right through the middle of Fort Irwin. The old borax trains came through there. Um, one interesting fact that most people don't know is there was an automobile race in 1908 from New York City and Times Square to the Eiffel Tower in Paris. And one of the six automobiles, one of the three that finished the race, actually came south over Cave Springs, around Bicycle Lake, and right through the middle of Fort Irwin on their way to Daggett. And that's, that's lost to history. But we found that out for the book, too. And also, the mystery of painted rocks is answered inside this book. But this particular book is, is like a really great chronological reference. Um, as a matter of fact, the Fort Irwin Museum director, um, this is his primary reference now. Uh, he has it tabbed which I just found hysterical. But yeah, he has all these tabs in it and the four archeologists also. Um, and what they told me was when they're researching things about the National Training Center, they have to go back to five or six different references because those references are written by um, systems, if you will. So such as the, the MILE systems, the Multiple Integrated Laser Engagement System, which is what, how the Army plays laser tag. It's a thing that goes on, the weapons goes on your vest. Well, to, to find out the varying times of that, they have to go to like four different references and then try to figure out what was going on over here while they were doing this and while they were doing this. This book happens to be chronological by decade, so it's a lot easier for them to go through and put the, that information together. So it, it turns out it was meant to be more of an entertainment, but it turns out to be a great reference point too. Well, today we're at Barnes & Noble in Victorville, which they do stock both my book and my cousin's book on Hesperia, along with a lot of the other Images of America series. If you can't get to a Barnes & Noble, it's always available on Arcadia Publishing's website or Amazon Prime. You can actually keep an eye on my blog, kendreillyblog.com, and if I'm showing up someplace else, or sometimes I may actually take my cousin with me, because, you know. We'll probably do a couple more of these together, and then I'll be doing some separately, but if you go to my, my blog, you can probably... We'll keep you informed on there, on uh, where we'll be next.